for me, colic has been the most stressful thing I've gone through with all of my three kids, and I don't say that lightly. Evelina is 13 weeks, and we're just out the other side of the toughest 12 weeks I've ever, ever been through. Colic is a real mum SOS. It's when you just want to fling yourself into the arms of another mum and say, please, make it stop, make this okay. Am I ever gonna get out of the other side? It goes about saying to chat to your GP and your health visitor, they'll have loads of advice. But you can read all of the textbooks in the world, but what's it really like living with a baby with colic? Let's see what our mum village has to say. Colic, the joys of colic. Colic is when your baby is otherwise healthy but they won't stop crying in the afternoon or into the evening and it can go on for hours colic affects one in five new babies and one of those was my new baby uh, the newborn days were quite dark days for me now i look back on them colic can start up to a few weeks after being born and last anywhere up to six months six months six months oh. things to look out for are clenched fists if they're pulling their knees up to their tummy or arching their back. Okay, so we know how to spot the signs of colic, but what do you actually do about it? That's what we all want to know. How can we make it feel a little bit better for them when they're just sobbing in agony? I just found sobbing myself was quite helpful. Just remember that it is not your fault. You are doing the best you can and there is absolutely no harm in taking five minutes out. Leave baby with boyfriend, husband, mum, whoever, and just have five minutes to yourself to kind of collect your thoughts and then you could go back and you're gonna be in a better frame of mind to sort of deal with the crying because it can get quite stifling sometimes. And you'll probably feel quite helpless towards your tiny little baby. Ask for help. Look out for yourself. Be kind to yourself, it can be so distressing. Keep them upright during feeding. And also, we did burp her after every ounce because it was so bad. Gentle rocking with their tummy pressed to yours can also be helpful, as well as a warm bath or a gentle massage on their tummy in a clockwise direction. We also did a lot of tummy massage, but the main thing that saved us was using Infocol. Now, I was a little bit skeptical at first. I didn't really want to use it, but the minute I saw what it did for Atlas and the instant relief, I was hooked. <laughs> Other great medicines are available. Another thing that I used to do, and I will never forget this because I did it for hours and hours, was something called the tiger in the tree hold, which is, is well known actually for helping babies with colic. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. You put your arm under their body, so their tummy is resting on your arm. And Noah used to have his like his face um, sort of sideways. I think it's just the the sort of pressure of having their tummy on something actually helps relieve some of the gas and some of the pain they're feeling. We even tried a white noise app on my phone. I had one, and her favourite sound was the dryer. If you're breastfeeding, you can try limiting caffeine and spicy foods to help eliminate colic. We did change her bottles over to special anti-colic ones, which did seem to help. And we also changed her teats to more of a faster flow instead of a slow flow because she was sucking in too much air. If these tips don't work, make an appointment with your GP, discuss things like reflux, changing formula, or if you're breastfeeding, maybe a change of diet. Just remember that it's not your fault. It's completely normal and it does get better. It is just a phase and they'll be back to being their cute, adorable little selves in no time. We really, really feel for you if you're going through colic at the moment. There is nothing like it in the world. Do remember to ask support from your GP and your health visitor. They are there to help you. And the Channel Mum Village is too. Did you know that we have a closed support group on Facebook that you can go to? Just search Channel Mum Group. There are tons of mums going through all types of experiences ready to chat to you right now. Remember, you are not alone. The Channel Mum Village really is here to help and we would love to hear from you. Any experiences of colic or top tips we may have missed, please pop them in the comments below.